primary sources are original items or documents written during or close to a specific event or time period. The idea here is that you're getting information from someone who was there or participated in whatever is being described. If someone conducts an experiment and reports the results of it in an academic journal, that is a primary source. Secondary sources, on the other hand, analyze or interpret primary sources. Instead of a first-hand account, a secondary source is a second-hand account. A secondary source does not conduct an experiment and report the results in an academic journal. Instead, they talk about the experiments done by other people and interpret those results. Some examples of primary sources include diaries, letters, photographs, speeches, government records such as census data, and interviews. More scientific examples include research results, experiment results, clinical trial results, and conference proceedings. Examples of secondary sources include biographies, literary criticism, reviews, and analysis of a clinical trial conducted by someone else and reviews of the results of experiments conducted by other people. It is important to understand the difference between primary and secondary sources for a few reasons. Most importantly, you will have assignments that require you to use one or the other. Knowing the difference enables you to utilize the right sources. It's also important to know the difference to streamline your research and save time. If you need to learn about a historically important experiment, you can either find a secondary source that analyzes it for you, or you could find the primary source, the experiment itself, and see the real thing. You may find you learn better from secondary sources or want to do the analysis yourself, in which case primary sources work better for you.